excited about Christmas yet, are you? I'm so excited for Christmas. At the moment, we're in Advent, and during Advent, we look back to the very first Christmas when Jesus was born. I'm really hoping that you enjoy our Advent lesson today. And you can join us on Zoom on a Sunday morning at 9.45. If you want to continue to learn about this Advent lesson, just email this email here to let us know. Hello. They asked me to tell you about it the other night. Well, it was funny. Tom was so scared. And you were. Yeah, okay. I was scared too. In fact, we were all terrified. The sheep were happy eating grass and the fire was burning nice and warm. And out of the blue, what looked like a glowing man appeared. He was massive. We were all quaking in our boots. So, not surprisingly, the first thing he said were, don't be afraid. Then, as we calmed a little, you could see he was an angel. He looked magnificent. He said, there's good news for you. It'll bring us all great joy. He said, today in Bethlehem, a baby's been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. I was a bit confused. Why was he telling us? And how could the child be born to us? Anyhow, his message got even weirder. He said, you'll find him wrapped in cloths, lying in a manger. In a manger? A feeding trough? While well, being shepherds, we know what goes in there, don't we, Tom? And it's not just nice air, is it? Oh no, there's spit and dribble and sick and poo. That'll do, Tom. Well, message over and then comes on the entertainment. More angels, loads of them, singing and praising. I tell you what they can sing. Glory to God, peace on earth, glory, glory. They're better than you, Tom. Anyhow. When they'd finished and left, we were buzzing and we went off to Bethlehem to go and find out about this baby. Come on, Tom! And you'll never guess what. We found him and his mum and dad in a manger. Well, his mum and dad weren't in the manger, obviously, but the angel was Bob on. And he was just a baby like, but don't ask me how, but we just knew, didn't we? He was no ordinary baby. I suppose when you meet God, you know, don't you? We were so happy. We shouted and sang our way home. In fact, people in the town told us to be quiet. But when we told them what we'd seen and heard, they were amazed. Everyone I tell. You tell everyone. Why wouldn't I? In these hard times, we need some good news, don't we? And everyone who's heard this story is amazed and loves our story. Today we're going to make a craft to remind ourselves of the memory verse. In our story today, after seeing Jesus and meeting Mary and Joseph, the shepherds went back to their sheep, praising God and thanking him for everything they had seen and heard. It was just as the angel had told them. Our memory verse today is Psalm 34, verse 1, part A. I shall praise the Lord at all times. Just like the shepherds praise God, we should praise God for all the things that he has done for us and all the things that he does do for us every day. And here's our finger puppet shepherd craft we're going to make today. Here's our shepherds praising Jesus. So how can we praise Jesus at all times? Well, we can use our voices and pray. Thank you, Jesus, for helping us with everything we've done today. So to make your finger puppets, to remind you about praising Jesus in everything you do at all times, you'll need to print out your shepherds and your sheep. And then take that piece of paper and fold it in half, just like I have. And then with a grown-up, cut your shepherd and your sheep out. And then glue your shepherd and your sheep around the edges leaving the bottom open. And 
And now you can colour them in whatever colours you want. The shepherds praised God by telling people that they had seen the Saviour, Jesus, God's Son. And we can praise Jesus by telling others to trust Jesus, that he's come to give us an abundant life. Abundant means Jesus promises us a life far better than we could ever have made or imagined for ourselves. And that's worth praising Jesus about. So let's praise and worship Jesus now by singing, Go Tell It On The Mountain. <laughs> this on Friday night or Saturday or even Sunday before our Zoom call but Chantal's asked me to put a little video blog together uh, about faith and an object lesson and as you know um, to this Sunday we're looking at the shepherds and the message they got from the angels um, and the message they got as you all know was to leave their flock and go and search for the baby Jesus that had been born. Now I don't know about you but when I think about shepherds they're very loyal to their flock and they wouldn't have left the sheep unless they really thought it was important. And they had that seed sown in their hearts that they needed to trust Jesus. And I don't know whether the camera woman can just zoom up, but those, believe it or not, are mustard seeds. And they're really small, aren't they? And you might remember a song that we used to sing, and we still do occasionally, called Faith as Small as a Mustard Seed move mountains and that's the sort of faith that the shepherds had the shepherds had to leave their flock and they had to trust in what the angels had told them that a savior had been born they didn't really know but they had the hope that when they arrived they could actually see the savior and boys and girls and um, this weekend i've got a challenge for you i want to see if you've got faith and hope in a decision you can make because i'm going to give you a challenge I've got a bowl of water in front of me and on Sunday morning when we have our live Zoom call, I'm going to see if your decision as to the faith you have in your decision comes true. Because in this bowl of water, I'm going to on Sunday morning put six um, items in the water and we're going to see which ones float. And I want you to decide before Sunday which items will float and which won't. So you need to have faith and hope in the decision you make before Sunday. So there's a like a bulldog clip magnet that goes on a fridge. 
There's a rather mouldy looking grape, which I'm not going to eat. Um, there's a pencil sharpener. There's a, a blower thing. There's a button that's come off my trousers and Sue needs to re-sew them, but she doesn't know that yet, so don't tell her. Okay, and there's a rubber band. So I need you between now and Sunday, or even on Sunday morning on the Zoom call, to decide which of these items you think will float and which ones won't. And I want you to write it down and then on Sunday morning, I'm going to do the experiment and you can see whether you got it right or not. So you need to have faith in the decision you make as to whether it floats or whether it doesn't float. So you've got a bulldog clip, you've got mouldy grape. The mouldy bit might make all the difference. I don't know. Pencil sharpener, rubber band, button, and then a party blower. Okay. And whilst you're thinking about that, I just want you to reflect on the shepherds because they got that message and they trusted in what the angel said and they hoped that when they arrived at the manger, they'd see baby Jesus. And that's the trust and the hope and the faith that God wants us to have in our lives. And it says in Hebrews 11 verse 1, it says these words. Now, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not say. See? So, see, and what that means is we we can be certain of the hope we have, but we don't see it. And that's the faith that God wants us to have. We don't see God. We don't see the Holy Spirit working in our lives, but we have the hope and the faith to know that if we trust in God, that he'll work in and through us. And there's another passage that I just wanted to share with you that I think is really important when we think about faith and we are reminded of the fact that God will protect us and look after us and it's from Jeremiah 29 verse 11 it's a passage that a lot of us know really well and it says these words for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future and just like those shepherds all those years ago when they had a faith to follow the star and they had a hope that they were going to see the baby Jesus Jeremiah 29 verse 11 reminds us that all of us have that hope and that faith if we just believe in Jesus and our faith only needs to be as small as a mustard seed and then we know that we have the power to walk our lives knowing that God is in our lives and we have that hope that's living in us. So between now and Sunday remember see if you can make a decision as to which items will float and which items won't float. And then on Sunday, we'll do the experiment. We'll see how many you got out of six right. But in the meantime, I hope and I pray that you have a great weekend. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. And don't forget, as we come up to Christmas and we come to a time of celebrating the birth of Jesus and we open all those presents and we eat the mince pies and the turkey and the stuffing. And I don't know about you, but Yorkshire pudding, if you have Yorkshire pudding on Christmas Day, I just want you to remember the real reason for Christmas. And that's Christ in us so boys and girls have a great weekend look forward to seeing you sunday and don't forget like the shepherds we need to have that hope and faith in our lives take care see you sunday bye